old are you? 83. Ah, she said. <laughs> who? Yeah, I was going to spell it, and my yeah. arithmetic wasn't too bad. Oh. Barbara and Ken, $5.99. Yeah, I'm going to end this lit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna and Ellis, and today we have a special guest. Hello, people. Grandma. I just recently turned 26, and so today I'm going to be questioning my grandma and giving her 26 questions on my 26th birthday. Okay? Yes. Oh. What? What's my favorite color? Um, Red. Green. Well, how would I know? How old am I? Uh, 26. Okay. How old are you? 83. <laughs> Do you have a favorite holiday tradition? I used to have one. Okay, well tell me what you used to like. My holiday tradition. Yes. Oh, what? Holiday tradition. Like what? <laughs> like Thanksgiving. Yeah, I just said a uh, tradition. What I used to do on holiday. Is that what that means? Yeah. Uh, have company, have people over with my children. Grandchildren. She just like to have people over and have a good time. Uh huh. Yeah. Were you named after a family member? No, I don't. No, I don't think so. Do you have a nickname? Mert. Her full name is Mertis. 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 But they call her Mert in the streets. In the street. Um, where were you born? Warrington, Georgia. Warren County. In the country. What was your house like as a child? I've never asked you that before. Well, I had another house. Uh, we lived in Warrington, Georgia until I was seven years old. And after I was seven years old, my father bought a house here at 752 Austin. And it was a lovely house, and I had a pretty good childhood. How many siblings you had? I had a uh, sister, six, six sister. Six of the six brothers. That's so it was brothers. 11 of y'all. 12. 12. Mm -hmm. So y'all had 12 rooms? No, we didn't have 12 rooms. We had a big, nice size house. We had enough room for the boys to have a place to stay and the girls there. Did you have a favorite subject in school? Do you remember? Well, I, I spell it. I, I was pretty good on spelling. My grandma can spell. I used I to can, spell like Yeah, hell. back in the day. But uh -huh. so that's, I don't read now like I used to. I, well, yeah, in your was, 60s? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't touch this one. No. Okay. I could see them. They used to call me. Mm -hmm. uh, we own this uh, south, south side of the city. And grandma, uh, uh, Amor, how do you spell such stuff? You know, mm -hmm. I was I was going to spell it, and my yeah. arithmetic wasn't too bad. Oh, the spelling book. I was, I was a downright good spelling book, baby. I, mean, <laughs> I can spell S-H-I-T now. Now. <laughs> so what was the most important lesson? that your parents taught you. Nothing. <laughs> Interview over. <laughs> you know, be careful of what you say and how you treat people. Mm -hmm. So what did your friends do for fun when you were young? Which all did for fun when you were young? We used to go to, be, uh, to uh, Mosley Park for dancing and uh, mm -hmm. swimming. We used to, I used to go swimming a lot. I swim. I used to swim. I don't know if I can now. Mm -hmm. But we would go to swimming on uh, 4th of July. Not 4th of July. We would go to the park on 4th of July for recreation. Meet our boyfriend if we had any. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So I used to sneak around. Uh-huh. Oh. Flip around. Oh. <laughs> did you Did you have a favorite toy? Toy? As a child. Y'all had rocks and sticks. Oh, yeah. We had used to have Coca-Cola bottles. You put a rope in them, and that was your baby doll and your comb my hair. That's how I learned how to comb my hair. I didn't know it was that back in the day. Mm -hmm. I thought you said you had Barbies, right? Well, after they and little after they and the, the, the that that stuff died that we had Barbies. We had paper doll Barbies. Oh. And then we had the little dot Barbies okay. to clip on it and stuff. But to get your toys, did you have an allowance? That's another question. No, ma'am. Did you have an allowance? Yeah, no we allowance. got what we could. Our parents didn't have a lot of money. But we, how much would a toy be back then? Oh, uh. 20 cents. Uh, Barbara and Ken. About a dollar ninety nine cents. Crazy. Well, everything's expensive, but yeah. we 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 having fun. I'm having a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I had a good time last night. Doing what? At my birthday party. At my birthday dinner. Who gave you a dinner? Anyways, next you get in trouble as a kid. 
No, I, I see. I had parents that yeah, all they had to do was look at you, honey. Mm-hmm. If you were in somewhere acting a fool, or your neighbors come and say, "Well, Miss Darcy, you know I saw a murder down the street doing such and such," you had to hope they didn't come up there and tell it because they're gonna whoop your butt. They ain't never be whooping. One time, cause I went to a store and got a bunch of collars at twelve o'clock, and I didn't get back to four a.m. <laughs> Uh-oh, it, it, oh, I was about to say, what is she doing that for? Slap out me. Wait till I went in the house and locked in the bed, the second the bedroom door. And I said, I said, I got the cops. She said, well, put them on the kitchen table. I told them one more thought about it. Uh-uh. Well, I went in that door and room. She said, oh, I got you, man. Tear it up. Tear it, it up. fool out of me. I said, yo, Hank. Did you have a curfew? Oh, yes, baby. You had to be in, in the house by after, before the street light come on. My light went out. How, how was your grandparents? I didn't have with my grandparents on both sides. My mom and daddy had passed on when I come up. Oh. I never. That's why I was such a good grandma. That's why you were mm. such a good grandma. Uh-huh. Never, I never seen neither one of my parents' grandma. I always wanted them. wanted a grandma. Be a, be, either be a grandma or have a grandma, but I never had one. Oh. Am I your favorite? Well, I hate to burst your bubble. Well, we need this on camera because I feel like I am the favorite. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah. You used to be my favorite, but I don't like you so well now because you don't do right. <laughs> Light going out. I know. Oh. It ain't got that much juice in it. Uh, I got a couple more questions. If the light goes off, that's fine, okay? okay. You ready for it? Yeah. Where was your wedding? Where was my wedding? Mm-hmm. At a courthouse. Oh, you had a courthouse wedding? Mm-hmm. Were all the kids there, or y'all had kids after you got married? No, uh, my children were born within my marriage, most of them. Y'all didn't mm-hmm. have, like, an actual actual wedding? No, we had a little reception afterwards. Okay. Not at that day, but the week or so at my brother's house. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. What was your first job? Yeah, how to please. Let me see, what was my first, my first real job? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a restaurant. I can't think of the name of it, uh. On Peachtree Street. You were serving tables or what? They wanted me to serve tables. I had to serve them one day. Okay. I broke out 20 glasses and they fired oh. me. Oh, okay. <laughs> it sound like you. Okay, what did you want to do when you got older? Like, what did you want to be when I you grow up? I wanted to become a nurse. Okay. And you got you became a nurse. Kind of I, call, I accomplished that for 30 years. Okay, what was your first car? Oh, my first car was uh, uh, 19... 66. What the name of that car? was a little cute little old car. Cadillac? No, Blue Lake never had no Cadillac. 1966. Uh, shut that Little old with a small cute car. Okay, it was a little cute car. Mm-hmm. You remember the rent on it? Like the payments on it? I paid cash for it. Ooh. $300. Ooh, <laughs> rich girl. Okay, where have you lived all your life? I lived at 752 Off Street. That was before I got married. Okay. And I lived at 986, uh, 986 Fair Street. Okay. And then I okay. lived at 1055. Which we don't know home. where none of that is. You got to tell home. I, yeah. You got to say, like, was it they all in Georgia? Mm-hmm. So you lived in Georgia all your life. Mm-hmm. After I was seven years old. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Where have you traveled? Have you been anywhere outside of Georgia? I've been to Florida about a hundred times. I've been to West Virginia. Okay. I've been to uh, down there where you were in school at. Alabama. And South Carolina and North Carolina. You should have told me that I would have went through it and got my stuff together. Yeah, I kind of hit you with it, right? Mm-hmm. How do you handle stress? I handle stress pretty good. It depends on who it is. Yeah. Crack it up. Yeah. Die it off. Yeah. I had a kind of a offhand splish back here in the summertime when two of my friends died. Aww. Three days apart, two or three days apart. I think that's the only first and the only time that I even really got knocked off of. Mm-hmm. Which weeks. one? Who was it? If you uh, mind one of them was named Cynthia Cloud. That was one of my sister in law. Uh-huh. And Barbara Taylor, that was her sister. We, we kind of grew up together. Aww. They really hit me. It did. It really did. I had never been sh- that shocked. Shocked before. Yeah. But in hospital, I stayed four days. Oh, wow. You, because you were, like, depressed was, a little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's why you went. Mm-hmm. Oh. I had went on over. I caught myself because I know I had to see about you. Oh, okay. All right. And what could you tell me that I would be surprised to learn about you? 
Oh, amazing. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what is your dream for your children and grandchildren? I want all my children to be kids, get on their feet and become, uh, they don't have to be famous, but you don't know how to, to pray to say, take care of themselves. That's what I, all my wish, not my wish. And she wants us to all dress in red for the holidays one day. Red, she, red, whatever you can get it she want, she want us all in red for the holidays. That's all she want. I'm going to get all everybody together. Mm-hmm. All yeah, right. That's your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my job. Okay. okay, give me a memory. Do you remember when my mom was born? Your mom? My mom. Yeah, I remember when she was born. Well, give me. <laughs> Crazy girl. She was born November the 26th. <laughs> okay, but tell me about. The day she was born, like what? What was going through your well, mind? I want to go crazy. Oh, it hurt so bad. bad. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I went in labor on a Sunday evening, I believe it was. And honey, I want to pull out my hair, your hair, and some old folks' hair. So that's not a good feeling. Well, what was your first pet? Pet. Yes. Sheba. That oh, wasn't that your bad, first she, pet. She, yeah, that was the first dog I had. Oh, we had we're, dog we're not a dog people. We're not dog family, uh, but she had a dog. I had a dog at home with a cocker spaniel, but they said they the stupidest dogs in town. <laughs> but he was pretty, but he wouldn't mind me. You, that dog would do that. You tell them to do. <gasps> and they, when the shots come out for the dog, I walked from St. Mark. You know where St. Mark is on Chester, do you? Mm-hmm. From down all the way down to Austin to get him to take it back up to the school so they give him a shot. Oh, he just ran. No, he just stood there looking at me like I ain't going nowhere. And he put on brakes like this. Oh, I said, well, get, get you. shooting. Okay. Yeah. So, what is different about growing up today than you were when you were a child? Oh, you can whoop them children ass at the end of your I would say that man. too. You can't do absolutely you nothing. You can't with even these look kids. at them very hard, man. These kids need their butts. So they need beat. them. Poop beat out of them. Yeah. That's what they do. It's awful how these children come up there. Yeah, they bad. Shut them, honey. I don't want to hit nobody's child. I don't want to do them break my face off in this oh. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? Yeah. What makes me happy? Besides eating. What? Eating don't make me happy. What makes with. you happy now that you've made it so far in well, 80, in the, in the, eight. I'm happy because I, I'm living a life now that is more profitable to me. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to be night, nagging and logging and fussing with nobody. That's what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. I get up in the morning. If I don't get but a little bit to eat, if I ain't fussing nobody, you know, it makes me happy. Okay. It makes me, me happy. happy. Da, 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 da. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty song. Yeah. That was the end of our interview. Thank you, 3000. I want to hear that. I know like, I stupid. Like, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Episode. All right. Bye. Bye. This is what I made in pasta class last night. Pasta? Yeah.